What is up guys? Welcome to Revit Step. I'm gonna take you through my day today. It's supposed to be a, an exciting day. I'm getting the car lowered. That's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to see the final result. However, the first thing I had to do today is register the car. And I thought it's gonna be a long process. They're probably gonna like, you know, return me a few times. However, it wasn't too bad. I just had to pay my sales tax, which was a big penny, which, you know, I wasn't too happy about it. But also, uh, it, it was it was a painless process. All I had to do is present my, I guess, title that comes from Ford uh, and where the car was built, and then my my insurance card, basically, and that was it. I mean, there was a few other like minor details in there, but that was it. Uh, the funny part is that they charge me an additional horsepower fee, which that's the first time I've you know I've been charged that. Um, I've never had a car, I guess, this powerful which you know the gti was about the same level as this but or speed wise not as powerful when it comes to horsepower but they charged that it was like six bucks which was kind of funny uh again it's not a supercar or anything like that but it does make a lot of power so with that being said i'm on my way home i'm gonna rest for a few minutes and then i'm gonna head out to uh, the mechanic that's doing the, the lowering springs i'm getting h and r lowering springs which i'm excited to see how they work they're progressive lowering springs i believe so that that will help the the comfort or the right comfort a little bit uh the reason why i'm not doing the work myself is because i don't have the tools and i don't have the time or i want to do it in the heat i mean as you guys can see it's, uh, it's 86 degrees right now and that's too hot even in my garage my garage is probably like 90 degrees by now because there's no ventilation there so i rather pay someone to do this because of the extensive work that's gonna take so i'm gonna drop the car off at noon and then i'm going to enjoy my day because i took a day off on a monday to take care of all this registration stuff which i, I thought i was gonna need emissions which i didn't which was awesome it's actually a week later since uh, i had the car lowered i wanted to make sure it settled down and it dropped as low as it's gonna get so i want to show it to you but before i show it to you keep in mind i applied ceramic coating to the car two three weeks ago i believe and I, I ran the car through a spotless car wash today and I wanted to see what it will look like without me touching it, without me wiping anything down, just going through a spotless car wash. I want to see how well the ceramic coat, the ceramic coat reacted too. So I'll show you the car first and I'll talk a little bit about the ceramic coat. But here it is, lowered. It's about an inch drop with an H&R springs. I love the springs. The springs are phenomenal. They, uh, they made the car handle so much better. I mean, I want to I wanna say it's almost as good as the GTI. It just feels light around the corners. Uh, I was able to take it on like a little like twisty windy roads and it handled fine I mean, yeah, the back end would come out at certain times, but it's, it's totally controlled and I really love it I love the H&R springs and I can't wait to get the wheels the wheels I ordered them last Friday So they should be coming on next week at some point and uh, I will tell you this I'll just tell you the size of the wheels um, You might guess what wheels they are but the size of them is the tires actually would be 305s on the back and 275s in the front uh there'll be 20 20 inch wheels so they'll be kind of massive and big which i never thought i would put a 20 inch wheel on a car but they seem to look very well or very nice with the car the, the combo and uh i believe they're 10 wide in the back and 9.5 in the front i might be off a little bit on that I, i'm pretty sure 9.5 on the front but the back might be a little bit wider i'm not sure but with that being said let me show you what the car actually looks like now and and then let me know what you guys think in the comments also let me know what you think about uh, lowering the car and also getting like different wheels because those wheels would actually fill up the wheel well even better now the wheels the stock wheels yes the car is lowered but they they don't fill up the wheel well they're still kind of like i i have spacers to actually flush the wheels out so with that being said again here's the car lowered an inch <laughs> Празните очи са пълни с наркотици Празните души са пълни с капризи Псуваш другите, обаче те са ти си Мажорите те са... So what do you guys think? This is, this is about an inch drop as I said And I think it looks perfect It looks right And you can see back here Here's how much gap there is in the back wheel It's not too much, it's about two fingers Which I think once, once I get the, the new wheels They'll fill up the gap really well and they will actually come out flush too they shouldn't touch uh the tires are gonna be mickey thompson's 
so they're a little bit taller tires so we'll see how it goes but i think it will be totally fine and here's in the front again there's about two inches and there's plenty of space here between the, the actual fender and the wheel so it, it should totally be fine and also here's the ceramic coating i did not touch the, the car it's been i haven't washed it for about two weeks and look how good it looks i mean it's just like phenomenal obviously there's uh the ceramic coating doesn't get rid of like the little spots and stuff like that so i have to like take a towel and like some detailing spray and clean this out but overall the paint looks just phenomenal it just pops so let me know let me know in the comments what you guys think and here's also the hood how it looks with uh the struts it's it's totally even um so so let me know what you guys think in the comments about the lowering springs and also what tires do you guys think or what wheels and tires package i'm getting uh it's very popular so you guys might have an idea but yeah let, comment down below what you guys are thinking and if you're new to the channel please subscribe there's gonna be a lot more videos coming with this car i really love this car uh the gti was nice and all but this this is like on a different level uh, a lot of people would hate me a lot of uh i've lost a lot of subscribers from the vw community that's totally fine i'm switching brands but this is on a different level it's it's fast it handles decently for how big the car is and it's just beautiful i mean the, the noise you can't beat the noise so if you're new to the channel again please subscribe uh, please drop a like or smash the like button and I'll see you guys later.